streamline the, the, the process for innovators and for collaborators to really establish firm communities to where these innovators can get a, a firm backing. Now, the collaborators are inside of the platform are going to add that community aspect to the projects and to the ideas and the research that's, con that's going to be conducted by the innovators on the platform. And then the investors are going to add the aspect of actually making those dreams and those concepts and those ideas and the progression of those projects into a reality to where a very poor family or very poor innovator instead of acting. This is Scratch Your Own Itch, the one show that delivers the conversations that we're afraid to share, but need to. This show is all about creating a life worth living. I'm Logan Tyler Nelson, and I'm your host. So you're going to hear conversations with creators and entrepreneurs talk about what they do, their current and past traumas, how they became who they are, and what they are truly curious about. This is the show where we talk about the things we think about a lot, but need to talk about more. Please take note that this show is not a substitute for actually creating a life worth living, because this show will stir your beliefs, make you question what it means to create a life worth living. So my promise to you is to always give you one question to answer for yourself today, to start turning your dreams into a reality. How are we doing today? Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to listen to the one and only podcast, um, Scratch Your Own Itch. Uh, I, I, I really appreciate it because I know for a fact you can be listening to any other show, but instead you chose this one and it means the world to me. So uh, I want to, though, be really honest with you right now. This one is going to be totally new, totally different, because Sean Heidi has never been on a podcast before, and I'm super excited to introduce you to you, because honestly, what he's working on right now is something pretty cool. If you want to learn more about Sean Heidi, he is the founder of Invent. He created this company with the basic premise of connecting the world through innovation and advancement with both technology and medical improvements. His dedication to wanting to help others has inspired networks of people around him and to, to really go in there and help them think on a larger scale. And so it's been collaboration, which I'm all about, that's made this even possible. His passion for what is right gives people hope in their hearts for a better future, for not just for themselves, but also the communities that's surrounding them. And it's community that takes us from going to, I don't know if this is possible, to this is absolutely possible. So, without further ado, give a huge warm welcome to the one and only Sean Heidi. Thank you very much, Logan, for having me on the show. Yeah, man. Um, so, I, I want to just hear the first, first I mean, let's, let's go back a little bit. What's the one message that you find most valuable? that you can give to an audience and that has demonstrated everything that you've been through? I think the number one thing that has really resonated with me as just an, an individual and as an entrepreneur um, is the fact that just never giving up on what you believe is really possible for yourself and for what you want to accomplish in your life. And um, yeah, build, build, building that premise around um, the fact that you can really achieve as much as you want to achieve as long as you really put your mind to it and you put your thoughts into actions. 
that's everything, man, when you have that idea for something. And that's what you're working on right now. So let's go into that. Sure. You're, you're working on this thing called uh, Inven, and it's a platform, kind of like a, a Facebook or a, or a LinkedIn. But explain kind of what it is. Sure. So Inven is a social media platform that is designed around the, uh, the basis of having innovators be collaborative on a global scale. And we're going to be having, what, three users, which are we're going to have your collaborators, your innovators, and your investors. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to be able to allow innovators to be recognized for their groundbreaking ideas, their motivation to add innovation into their industries, and to really push the ball forward on an innovation scale, on a global scale. And... We aren't just going to be going to your predominant countries, you know. Typically, you have the United States, which is uh, one of the innovation hubs of the world, and China being one of the other innovation hubs of the world. Um, but what, what we want to do for this platform is we want to give a voice to the countries that don't have a voice, that don't have the resources to be able to really um, let the world know what they're capable of let the world know that they too can add a difference with inside of the world. And they too can add to the advancement of uh, the, the human progression with technology and, 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 med and medical research. And um, it's going to open up a lot of doors for people inside of other countries that are poor or people inside of poor communities to be able to really like voice um, what it is that they want to change in the world. And I think that's going to add a lot of value on a global scale. Um, and it's going to open a lot of people's minds and open a lot of people's eyes to the fact that it's not about where you grew up. It's not about where you were born. It's about the, the world-changing ideas that you have with inside of your mind that could change the lives of millions of other people around the world. Oh, that's awesome, man. That's, that's super, super cool. What really separates you, though, from the other social medias like Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter? Sure. So we wanted to structure this platform in a way to where it simplifies the, uh, I guess, the aspects of getting the resources that these people really need. And... With doing that, we can streamline the, the, the process for innovators and for collaborators to really establish firm communities to where these innovators can get a, a firm backing. Now, the collaborators are inside of the platform are going to add that community aspect to the projects and to the ideas and the research that's, con that's going to be conducted by the innovators on the platform. And then the investors are going to add the aspect of actually making those dreams and those concepts and those ideas and the progression of those projects into a reality to where a very poor family or very poor innovator inside of Africa now has the ability to get an investment from a major investor inside of the United States or from the UK or from China. And that's groundbreaking. It's absolutely groundbreaking because you have companies like Kickstarter who are only inside of 20, 22 countries. There's 195 countries within inside of the world. Now, the ability of this platform is going to surpass a lot of other platforms, including Facebook and LinkedIn, just because of the mere fact that it actually really supports, um, pop, it really supports the, the, uh, the ambition of wanting to fix a lot of the problems that are happening inside of other countries as far as poverty. And we are going to be partnering up and actually showcasing humanitarian groups with inside of our platform just as much as we are going to be um, demonstrating the abilities of innovators. So your every single person on the platform is going to be able to have the functionality to actually crowdfund into humanitarian groups that are helping the, the, the poor countries and the poor communities. 
and actually establish firm ground for everyone to have an equal opportunity to change the world. Wow, dude, that's that's uh, if you actually make that happen, like if you actually do that, you will change the world, my friend. Um, that's the idea. Wanna, that's <laughs> the idea. I, I really want you to make this happen. Um, when do you think that people can start joining in then? What, what's, when's the soonest date upon listening to this? It's, uh, it's October 11th, 2018. When do you think you'll have something where people can start supporting it? So we, we can start getting support as much as we possibly can right now. We're actually running, we're going to be running some crowdfunding campaigns to be able to support what we need in the initial stages of development with inside of the platform. Um, we re recently had some hiccups with uh, a, a CTO where we had to replace him, but um, he got involved with inside of his own company. His own company got investments, and now he's pursuing his own company full time to where he's too busy to be able to focus a lot of his time on, on InVent. So it's very unfortunate. He wanted to save the company, but um, we need we need someone who can be full time on this project. And it was not very it wasn't it wasn't forecasted for that to happen, but it did happen. But we were just trying to roll with it. Um, now the things that we definitely need in order to push forward to have that date to where people can actually start um, supporting this project and actually joining the platform. Um, we just need that support of just getting that initial phase done to where we can get programmers and developers on board to, I guess, establish the uh, foundations of the inner workings of the platform. Now, we have all the functionality. We have the, uh, the, the, the concept pretty much done and ground, and we, we have all of the planning finished. Now, the next phase of all of this is to now do hard code and to do the architecture of the platform and to really put those concepts into function. Love it. Love it. Love it. So we are, <laughs> I love it. Like we're in, in the thick of it, you know, it's like we're, you know, you see the architecture forming as uh, as you're listening to this right now, depending on when you're going to listen to this, though. Absolutely. It'll probably be built. So I want to go into <laughs> just like a, five more questions, 30 seconds or less type answers, so don't think too hard about them. Just sure. first thing that comes to mind, okay, to, to learn more about you and what you're about. Sure. Awesome. So the first question I got for you is, uh, what's your favorite quote and why? My favorite quote. Hmm. My favorite quote is opportunity comes with action and action comes with thought. Thought comes with your ability to look beyond yourself. And why that is important for me is because I'm a very creative person. And for me, that quote really opens up the um, I guess the, the doors of my mind to think outside of the box of uh, how I can achieve things and how I can achieve my goals. That's awesome, man. That's that's awesome. Got a huge smile on my face, man. Uh, <laughs> what what's the key to happiness in your opinion? The key to happiness is helping others achieve what they want to achieve inside of their life. Seeing that, seeing people's faces when they are achieving what they want inside of their life is beyond anything that you can achieve for yourself. Uh, you, it's just, you don't get any kind of feeling that is like helping those who, before you started to help them, had no chance to really get to where they wanted to be. Then just because you were the person to guide them and you were the person to push that envelope forward for them. Now they have opportunities that they never thought were, were possible in, in their life. And to see their face light up and their spirit 
lift is just there. There's there's no other feeling, and that to me is is just true happiness. I love it, man. <laughs> you hit it right on the head, man. Absolutely. Um, what's your favorite book? <laughs> I'll be completely honest, Logan. I don't really read that much. Uh, I think the only book that I've actually read from cover to cover is um, Aragon about the uh, about the boy in in, in the dragon. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean that's really the only book that I ever read. <laughs> all right, he's not much of a reader. <laughs> no, not at all. But yeah. <laughs> You're a rare breed, dude. Everybody that I have on here is like, ah, oh, I can't even pick one book. Ah. <laughs> I, mean, um, I have I have a learning disability when it comes to reading, and I, I'm not I'm not able to focus on it as much as I want to. So I get really bored easily when I read because I'm a slow reader, and it's like uh, I just can't really focus on it. So I instead of really reading books, I do a lot of learning on online of just anything I can get my hands on. So I'm always constantly learning about several subjects at one time just because that's just how my mind works. What about, um, what's your master skill set? Creativity. 100%. That is okay. my, my ability to, to creatively create um, things out of thin air is my my definite, my definite strong suit of any kind of skill set that that I would have inside my arsenal, um, definitely creativity. Awesome, man! I love it. Um, I love it. I love it. I love it. Where is the one place people can find more of Sean Hardy? Sean Heidi. My bad, dude. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry about it. Um, LinkedIn. I have a profile on LinkedIn. Um, just shoot me a, a private message, communicate with me, connect with me, learn more about what I'm doing with Inven, be a part of the community, um, be, a, be a supporter, uh, be, a, be a part of the crowdfunding that we're trying to get so we can start with the, with the, the initial development of what we need to accomplish. Um, we're going to be holding up the crowd, uh, crowdfunding campaigns very soon within the next week. You'll probably see it throughout LinkedIn. Be a part of it um, and really help push this forward. Nice, man. So um, anyone that's listening to this right now, please get close. Listen hard. When there's something that's being built that you just believe in, sometimes it's scary because you don't know what's ahead of you. And I guarantee someone that's in that creative process where it either be a book, a company, maybe they're putting together a course right now and they go, I don't know if it's going to work. You just have to believe because that is the most profitable skill you will ever develop in life. So I'm taking a chance. I know for a fact on Sean. Sean knows it. I know it. But we're going to we're gonna take a risk on some idea that we believe so much in that it's going to it's going to happen. So. Absolutely. Thank you so much, everyone that's listening right now. Um, I appreciate you a ton. Please hit subscribe. Don't miss another episode. And uh, don't ever forget, you matter and you're enough. Wow, you made it to the very end of the show. Thank you so much for tuning in for another episode of Scratch Your Own Itch with your host, Logan Tyler Nelson. To make it to the end? Gosh, that doesn't happen very much nowadays. I mean, especially with the constant distraction. So, I appreciate all of the efforts that you just took out of your day to make it to the end. And if you hit that subscribe button and leave a review, you would have no idea what that would mean to me. So thank you so much for taking the time to hit that subscribe button. And if you leave a review, check it out. Just screenshot it, send it to me, 
and I'd love to host your review out on the show. But don't ever forget, like I say, you matter and you're enough. Love is the main reason for how all this happened. Love for all my fans, love for all the shows. Got love for all my memories, no matter where I go. Even if I'm out to nothing, I know there's always something. It's not a fitness test, but it'll always